Hello and welcome back to Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. We are going to jump into our first expedition from the region selection. We've got Little Colorado. It says it's got five expeditions. Everything else is locked. Arizona, uh, Carpinthians, and ooh, Mod Region. We'll get to that one day. So let's jump in and have a look at what we've got here. So from the headquarters, expedition selection, Little Colorado. You have a, ooh, a free room option. That's not available yet. We have First Expedition, Nearby Arenas, Stoneford, Heavy Shipping, and Earthly Vibes. So let's go into our First Expedition. Your first assignment, you have to go to the mountains and install a radio module that will improve the signal quality at the base. Be careful, the roads are not easy. So it's a difficulty easy distance, about a thousand, so I guess it's like kilometers. Off-road vehicle, terrain, height differences, and terrain, uh, watery terrain. We need to take with us a jack screw and a sideboard bed. So if we press select. Okay, so it's pretty much the same information. Oh, the payout there of 2,000. So we want to take what it says off road and a sideboard bed, jack screw. So we select a vehicle. This is what I have in my garage. Now, from the get go, you do have the, uh, the DLC trucks as well if not i believe you may have to go in to purchase one i'm not sure or you might just have some some early starting trucks but these are what we have available to us so we're going to go into that and look at them so we've got a scout which is the uh, the load star 1700 that's a special edition the don 71 that's special edition the uh Catco canyon sri i believe that's part of the uh, Early access. The Tuz 16 Actron Special Edition. That is an off road. Then we got the standard Tuz 16. And we've got the Step 30. Oh, yeah, 310E, 310E Special Edition. So that's my starting garage. So it's quite, quite good that we've got all that. I think we'll go out in the, in the Tuz 16. We used that in the tutorial. We saw got a little bit of grips with that. So if we select it, it wants us to take the jack. I'm also going to take myself an anchor because you just never know, do you? And then cargo we need. It's got a short flatbed or side bed, so we'll take that. So here we can also customize our vehicle a bit. On the roof, we can install a roof rack. And then if we install that, you see there, if we press X, we can fill it. And we can put either fuel or spare parts in there. So I think I'm going to put two fuel and two spare parts just in case. But that's sort of all we're going to need, I think. I don't think we're going to need much else. We have a look. We've got miscellaneous, and that's um, the reserves that you have there. That's what shows up on the, the wheel when you press the LB button. So you can have a small supply, a large supply, medium supply. Uh, extra roll cage, bolt-on fenders, a, a kit of light bolt-on fenders provides slight crash protection, rear mount rack, we've not got that, One, we've got stock bumper, now they do, they do actually protect you from damage, having a, having a little extra reinforcement, so I might even go with that, maybe just a little one. Now, can we sell them? Oh, we can sell them. A bit like in SnowRunner, we can sell it. Oh, it's free anyway, so it didn't make no difference. We can get no money back. Uh, rooms I'm not worried about. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the paint as is for now. So, that is us. I believe that's all we need to do. Recovery cost is uh, 3,000. So, if we do get stuck, we need to uh, do a recovery. 3,000. And on the top right, you can see that prepayment. Uh, minus 1500 and then from whatever else is going out is uh, 1200 there so i think if we press back we are then good to go we are able to deploy bottom left so let's do that let's start the expedition nice quick load screen that one right get to the crossroads so if we start up, got to remember that the controls are a little bit different from what we are used to. 
just have a quick look around. Right, this, this looks very much like an uh, extension of the tutorial. We learned the very basics, and I think we're now going to learn some more. In expeditions, you'll need to navigate the terrain. Use the mini map for this. Okay. Open the mini map. That looks like a big map. I'm not gonna lie, that's a big map. So get to the pond and examine uh, the echo sounder. So we're going down this road to that pond there. A beautiful view. We've got different things here. How big is the map? Oh wow, this. Okay. Looks, looks pretty sizable for our first little area. We had five expeditions on it. But then again, there is the free room option as well, isn't there? Afterwards? So perhaps we'll look into that if we get those done. So if we go uh, use Echo Sounder to determine the depth of water, or depth of water bodies you are about to cross. So Echo Sounder, and the colour indicates obviously the uh, the risk, and that was all pretty pretty green. I keep wanting to uh, use Snow Runner controls. I'm sure that's I'm not the only one. a little bit different. Perhaps we should have looked into a snorkel. So if we use our device again, it's not that deep. We should be alright. We're going to come up an hour, I think. I'm assuming that later on we're going to be able to increase the range of that so that we don't have to maybe do it so often. Okay, pick up the item, the radio station. Put the handbrake on. So we're going to trade. We'll select our side, or the part that goes into sideboard. So that's where you have to store it. So you have your inventory section and your sideboard section. Inventory items can't go on the sideboard, so the sideboards can't be in inventory. So that's, there's that. So we'll take that and down here there's no extra stock here that's it, empty but we could have put some goods in here ourselves I think so we could have transferred if we wished but we don't wish to do that we want to keep what we've got so next up is find a suitable location and launch the drone oh that's not that's not where the uh, handbrake is anymore Explore the nearby, nearby mountain using the, the drone. So, over here, use the drone. Oh, that's pretty cool. Looks really nice. I'm not going to say that too often, because it just looks really nice. <laughs> and I say it way too often when I play games that are beautiful. Visually, this is uh, an improvement in terrain and things like that. So we've got to visit the top of the mountain with the drone. So we come into that range. Okay, find a path to climb up the mountain. Select, uh, exit the drone and continue the search using the vehicle. Okay. And break off. We've got our all-wheel drive on, we've got our div lock on. We can probably, again, that's not there anymore. I'll probably do that for quite a bit while I get used to the, the control changes. Everything's now on right button or left button. Right button for like vehicle controls and left button LB over here for vehicle repairs and stuff like that. Use the winch to get your vehicle out of trouble, attach it to natural elements or your own anchors and pull. Oh, we did pack an anchor. Trees are common and useful winch points. Be careful they can break. Press Y to attach the winch. Okay. So you can attach your winch there. I think you can, if I release it, we can also do it on devices and go at the top. 
and we can select where we want to go. So we've got a, a healthy tree and a dead tree. We'll take the healthy tree, I think. So we want to then... Yeah, so if we pull ourselves up there a little bit, maybe? Ooh, no, it doesn't like that angle. Might try that one instead. There we go. So, install the radio station. You can also f uh, find the winch in the device. Oh, we knew that. We already did it. There it is. Right. So, we're going to make our way up. Stage complete. Okay, enter delivery mode, so we're going to deliver our supplies. Sometimes in expeditions you will have to complete quest item deliveries or complete structure constructions. Deliver the radio station, so we're going to deliver. And that pops it up just like that. Uh, look around using the binoculars, so we go... Or do, are we supposed to maybe drive into the bin? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. There we are. Doctors are a great great way to explore the map and find useful places or convenient paths for the vehicle to pass. So we're going to open the map. Look at the marked area on the map and then scout it. So over here is where it wants us to look. So I'm assuming it's right in front of us. We get the binocs out. I'm going to say it again though, it's beautiful isn't it, beautiful looking game. Okay, so we've got an airdrop over there, can we zoom in RB, LB, so RB is in, found an airdrop. There's a mountain. Looks like a possible river crossing over there. Okay, so next it wants us to look about further with the drone. Okay, use a drone, you can also discover and explore parts of the map. So, open the map. So it wants me to explore down in front of me, perhaps because I cannot see down there with the binox. So we're out, up. Discovered a new airdrop. Okay. Anything else here to discover? Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, bad signal. We're getting too far away. Too far away. get to the next point. Well, it's just in front of me. I reckon I can get there. At any time during the expedition, you can recover your vehicle to the field base. Okay. We have break on. Open the minimap. Uh, find and choose your field base. Uh, A, then use recovery. Okay, so if we go there it is outpost so you have to press Y there for some reason um, field operation base truck recovery free so this is a free recovery this one uh, recover to the base and park the truck so we're just gonna here. And that's our first little expedition complete. Get our reward. So it's 2,000, take less than 200 damage, 500 as well. So we've got a little bonus there. And that's unlocked a truck for us as well. But it looks like we've got a Don. So we might have two Dons in the Eastern Outpost. Head to the headquarters. Yes, please. 
What happens to all that stuff that we had on the vehicle? Items sold. Oh, he's getting that back by the looks of it. Look, we've got 1,350 being returned from items. So since that was only a, a, a quick one, let's jump back into the... Oh, it's opened up the others now. We can go further. Oh, look at them. 37, 37. Okay, so there's uh, a little bit to discover elsewhere. So this is definitely just the tutorial. So we will... Um, or an expansion on the tutorial. So we'll go back to little Colorado. And they're all now unlocked. So I guess you could pick whichever one you wanted to do. We shall go with nearby areas. Not far from the training training base, we've left valuable cargo. We'll use a metal detector to search for objects. For this, we will need uh, a scout uh, that can tra uh, traverse height differences. We need more spare parts, and we need to fit a metal detector. So let's start that. So if we go pick our truck. So we want a scout. We've got the Don. And we've got the... I think we'll take this. I think this is closer to base game. Oh, we've got the little Don, haven't we? I think that's the new one that we just unlocked. I'm going to take the Coat Canyon. That's what we'll go with. So, again, we can have a little look and uh, devices. There we go. So, we need on the roof. So, you could carry a roof rack, fill that up with bits. We've got. Uh, spotlight mount, but we want a metal detector. It's free for the job. Can we fit a spotlight mount as well? Good. We don't want to waste too much money. I am prone to wasting money in snow runner. Let's not try and do that so much. So we can put a spare wheel mount on the back though. That's a thousand. <laughs> a front bumper. They, like I say, they do protect, so we might go with. Especially if we're down the climbing. Can we sell that? That's free anyway, so that makes no difference. No money made there. Miscellaneous. Uh, fenders. Oh, that's on the side there. Reinforced fenders. Emergency reserves. Side mount rack. So that will allow us to carry some extra spare parts. That's what we want. Just in case. Should we put some fuel in there as well? 50 spare parts and fuel. There we go. And that's going to sit on the side there. That's, that's pretty nice That I like that. Upgrades. Oh. Spoil me, spoil me. The lift kit. We've got a traverse, haven't we? So if we put the oh, put the rock crawler on, a fully reworked suspension kit for otherwise impassable terrain provides incomparable suspension travel at the expense of ground clearance. So what's the difference? I think I'm going to put the lift kit on it. And then we've got all terrains, which are good, good average. But we could go with some better tyres, or some bigger tyres, should we say? Or we go full on. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. explore the region to find it, and then mud top. Oh wow, we could spend a lot of money and get them beasts. So I don't think we need them yet. I'm gonna go with that. Sorry, I didn't intend on being in here doing this sort of stuff, but it's, uh, why not? Now, in our inventory... We'll take... Uh, we'll, we'll take the goods again. I think that's best, just in case. So, we are ready to go. Yep, deploy. So can we? So we've got to go out of the eastern out. Can we? Uh... Okay. It turns out that's where we're going. The, the area that we found. Start the expedition. Now, is it possible if we go back in the menu, skip time? 
Is there any way of seeing what the time is? Morning. <laughs> any way of seeing what the actual time is? So we are here and we've got to use a metal detector in the specified area. The flag is over there. Nearby areas. So we've got, <laughs> got to use it here. Why didn't it let us start there, hey? I mean, I guess we could fast travel or recover or whatever it's called. But we've got some stuff to see. We, we unmarked or, yeah, we marked up some stuff. An airdrop. Airdrop. So let's, uh, well, there was a truck there. Look. Hmm. Let's not get carried away. Let's try to stick to the, uh, the task at hand. So what's this? A building module. Essential storage. Base module. Stall. So those things we have, and this is things we can add. Okay. So this would provide us with extra fuel, spare parts, and wheels. It cost us 10 grand. I don't think so. I'm glad I saw money. Off we go. But that's cool. Is this the same? Is this so we can put another? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Let's try and make our way across. what we want. We'll try. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Over there. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. The map was... The bit was down here. Yes. So... By the looks of it, I want to come across, round, through there down there airdrop that's where we want to go now I will say things do feel a little more sturdier like mud runner rather than snow runner where snow runner I feel like you felt like you were always going to tip over at the minute the suspension seems to be a little bit more and the axles a bit more flexible so if we go past that truck we'll see if we can do anything with that truck is there a way down? That felt nice. That felt really nice. Maybe a snorkel would have been a good idea. Let's put the diff on as well. don't have that little side menu anymore so I don't know how we actually get to another vehicle maybe that will come later on in this uh, expedition tutorial nope it's not there <laughs> I ain't going to do that a lot Things, I'll get used to doing it this way and then in a day or two I'll be back to Snow Runner and I'll get it all wrong again. So... Nothing to winch on to. When you 
go in reverse, it disengages the uh, diff as well. That's, that's different from Snowman. Snowman didn't do that. I will be making quite a few comparisons to Snowman as we go along. And to older Mud Runner games, although my uh, extensive playthrough of those were a long time ago. go back to automatic. Get ourselves a little bit more go. Nice. Yeah, I, I do feel quite confident with the truck. Probably means we'll roll it in a bit. Yeah, look at the, uh, the way the suspension is working. It's really nice. They have improved that. Oh, this looks fun. Where was. So it's over there. So if we come across and then we'll go up and we'll try and... What's that? Gold mining? Okay. Use a metal detector. Oh, that's the thing. I, know. I wonder if we can... Can we trigger that with our metal detector? Can we make some money here? Some fast moving water there. We've discovered a new Ford. We got is that ten credits for that. Job. Let's go look at that and then we'll go see about this gold. We've discovered a new ply, 100. Creditos. Not sure what it means by climb. Perhaps it's like trying to get all the way to the top there or something. There's the airdrop that we found in our first little expedition. Trade. Okay, so we can take these things. Part of a dinosaur skeleton is valuable to the museum. We've got no more room for an anchor, so we'll have that. We'll have that, he says. Plateaus off that way. The gold was below us, though, so we'll go and uh, see what that was about. We're an experienced explorer. We don't necessarily always follow the, uh, <laughs> the tutorials or the guide. We go off and do our thing. Give it a butchers for sure. So where's this gold? So if we use our metal detector on the gold. Not got anything showing here at the minute. So we uh Oh there's a light. A light has come up on the uh, detector thing. Get our device out. Metal detector. I've got some things over there. Detect.
Oh, so the, okay. So we're saying there's a grab thing there. So as for the gold, doesn't seem to be uh, a thing. Can we go in our map? Hmm. Okay, perhaps we'll come back to this later then. We are getting ahead of ourselves, I think. Sounds exactly like something I'd do. You can just use the uh, see left trigger to reverse. I've, I've always liked to manually reverse, just have a little bit more control of it. We needed to make Ooh, get a little bit stuck in here. Oh, it's because it's saving. Okay, probably needs a little bit of uh, an optimization tweak on that. If that's the worst thing we have to deal with early game, then uh, I'll take that. That's certainly something that can be uh, soon addressed by uh, Saber, no doubt. Imagine I'm gonna want low gear diff lock. Maybe use one of them anchors. Pull myself up if I can. So handbrake on device. Ah, inventory, there we go. One of five. So if we put that there. We can winch to it. And break off. Oh, that is good, isn't it? That is good. Doesn't have a, a massive reach on it, but that is good. Okay, so now I want to try and get down there, though. You can use them to sail with as well, can't you? So maybe that's something we uh, we try <laughs> again. Perhaps we're getting ahead of myself. I might use the low gear to send with. That's what I like to do in uh, SR. She's got quite a good reach. That's nice. Right, got to get down there again. We use the tree to protect us. Again, we're doing all this just so we can get back to the main base. Discovered a new board as well, so a few more pennies here, I think. Just gonna let that slowly. Oh no! Oh no! So if we go to our devices in our inventory, we've got, and we can just jack ourselves back up. There we go. 
It's like a magic tool, that one. Always carry them. We've only got... Well, that was our last one. Oh, no. <laughs> dumped myself in some water as well here, and I? A proper. That has not been kind to me. Okay. Is that... Is that... Oh, look at that. That's not... Within reach. So can we? Can we? Inventory. Use an anchor. Maybe pull ourselves out a little bit. It seems like a waste of one, doesn't it? Pull up. Put it there. We might be able to use it again later then. There we go. Bonus points to anyone who had me rolling in the first in the first video. Wow. No. The uh, the menu from Snowrunner was on the uh, up, and up is now. to uh, change um, view. sink in again, so we're going to be quick. Um, we can... Oh, can we grab another one of them? No. Oh, we've still got another jack screw. That's okay. And we can't pick up none of that. There's no room in our inventory. Oh, no. Right. Looks like this might be our way out of the river. Should we, go, should we go and do the job that we were asked to do? That'd be good, wouldn't it? That's pretty cool, though. That jack, what a lifesaver. <laughs> Is there any way of someone modern that? <laughs> no runner for me, please. What if, what if, will that get us a little bit of traction? Oh, just keep going, my son, just keep going. There we go. Right. So now that we're up, I'll set that back, we'll reinflate, <laughs> reinflate the tyres. This looks to be our way down here. All that to get back to base. Right. We have another airdrop here. It's got fuel. So if we have the fuel, we can... Put, oh, we put it all in there. It's nice. So we can refuel off that little airdrop there. I 
I'll say it seems strange that it didn't have a start here, but I guess learning to uh, traverse and do a few of these things along the way does not hurt. So this is where we had to get to to start the uh, ex the uh, expedition. If the indicators on the metal detector turn white, it means that there are objects to search within a radius of 200 meters. A metal detector gives you information about the location and range of objects. Red are resources, blue are items, green are upgrades. Oh, so we can find upgrades out here as well. So we're going to open it up. We already did it. We already know this. We've got some more things we can build over there. So white means that there's stuff that way. So if we detect... So over there, I'm guessing upgrades, that's a tool. We got red as well. I wonder what that is. I don't know. Right, let's go and find these bits. Can we drive like this? No. Apparently not. Okay, so do they show on the map now? So there are regions we've got to go to. So we go. Should we try further? So we'll go off into that canyon, I think. Which is behind. Certainly try, can't we? Nice. It just seems to slow down when it's saving. So that was oh, okay. So that was just the box to find this signal. Ooh. Straighten myself up a little bit. Upgrade location discovered. Get the upgrade. A uh, high range gearbox with an increased gear count, top speed, and fuel efficiency at the expense of lower strength. This can be equipped in the garage customized menu. Not available for this truck. This truck. And this is for the Tuz. Okay. Gotta get out of here now. That looks pretty well sloped there. Ooh, camera angle's clipping. See, that's that's fo that's followed over from Snowrunner. So the other circle was over to the to the white bus. I'd still love an on-screen compass. I don't necessarily want a map for showing me everything. I just like a compass, you know, direction, bearings, and stuff like that. That would be that would be handy to have. And I don't think that would be uh, too far stretched as an explorer to have a compass. Uh, we can see the blue box. We know where we're going. Oh, there's something there anyway. It might be something else to build again. That's what the other ones were. Oh, we've got a red one next to it. So that was our signal. Uh, 
I discovered an airdrop. And with that, it has some more anchors. We've not got space for any more anchors. So they're still out there for us to uh, pick up later. Is that our next one over there? Let's go have a look. Right across. That is the direction that the uh, circle was. So we've got that blue box over yonder. It's beyond those few trees. That's it there, yeah. This is the uh, job I drove past on the way in. Expedition complete. Nearby areas. So recover the truck less than two times. We didn't recover it once. We could have done a recovery. We could have jumped it across, I think. Uh, so that's 2,200. Get our rewards. Um, so we are selling the dinosaur. For oh, wow. We are just rolling around uh, so the jack screw, the three anchors dinosaur femur, they go back, they get sold so it's an extra 1,735 in the kitty, zero damage points taken it's pretty good, it took me 26 minutes probably not as long as I was expecting so with that being, that's probably nearly about an hour, I didn't think this was going to be an hour uh, we'll call that our, our first episode, but this will probably be up as uh, Little Colorado Part 1. And um, I'll get stuck into Little Colorado Part 2, and we'll do more of the expeditions there. So if you have enjoyed this and uh, want to follow along as I explore expeditions, give the video a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. I'll be trying to get these out as quick as I can. I don't have a lot of recording time at the minute, so it's uh, as quick as. And we may start a separate stream over on Twitch, probably next week. So uh, come and join us over there, twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Farquhar. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.